Hi, my name is Bruno Pavon, and welcome to Lobster Diving 101. In this video, we're going to show you the gear that you can use to catch them, different techniques on your capturing them, and the legal ways to secure them. So let's go diving! This is a typical dive in South Florida. This reef is off of Boca Raton, and here, it is common to do what is known as drift dives which is when you swim along with the current and each group carries their own dive flag. Drift dives are very relaxing, require little no effort on the diver, and allow you to cover a large amount of area in a short amount of time. While diving, it is important to pay attention to the terrain of the reef as an indication of where the bugs are. A good lobster hunter is 75% observation skills and 25% technique, but you must find the lobster first. They will almost always be found in holes with their heads poking out, so look for waving antennas and movement. Be sure to pull on the snare fast and grab the lobster as soon as you can because sometimes, whenever the lobster moves too quick, it can easily slip out of it. Take your time with these lobster hotels. They're probably the best bags out there, but man, these lobsters will put up a fight. This is a good and bad thing when the lobster's too big to get inside of the bag. Sometimes you'll have to ask for backup and have one person hold it while you try to stuff the lobster in. But that's always a good thing. What a full bag. I'm still looking. Off to the next one.